Hello, friends. Do you ever feel down and defeated because of thoughts about the past or things people have said or even things you did? Well, let's see what Jesus himself had to say about it, starting with Revelations 12.10. Then I heard a loud voice in the heavens saying, Now the salvation and power and the kingdom of our God and the authority of his Christ have come for the accuser of our brothers and sisters has been thrown down. The one who accuses them before our God day and night. Satan is called the accuser in this passage. In the previous verse, he's called the deceiver. The next time you hear accusing voices in your head, ask first, am I actually guilty of this or am I being deceived? If you are guilty, ask the Lord for forgiveness and make it right for it anyone whom you have wronged, except when to do so would harm them further. You see, God will immediately forgive and cleanse you. But if you're not guilty, who do you think is behind this deception accusing you? Right, it's the devil himself. And he might be using someone, talking through them, but surely the devil is behind it. Take authority over lies and deception by first recognizing who you are in Christ. Ephesians 1, 19 through 23 tells us that if we are in Christ, the devil is under our feet. Let your spirit rise up and kick the devil in the head. Then be seated in heavenly places with your Christ Jesus. You see, you are already have the victory. So act like it. You are forgiven and cleansed of anything that you have confessed to Jesus. So you have his authority over the devil. Stand up in his righteousness. Speak to those lying thoughts with the truth of God's word.